But first, we want to get to this. Congress is one step closer to preventing a rail strike. But legislation to do so could get derailed in the Senate. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington, D.C. And Bree, the clock is ticking for Congress to act here. Good morning, Maureen. It absolutely is. If Congress does not reach a labor deal soon, a rail strike could happen as soon as next Friday. Efforts to avert a potentially catastrophic rail strike are moving full steam ahead. We want to avoid a shutdown and be as fair to the workers as we can be. The House passed legislation that forces a tentative rail labor agreement. It gives rail unions a 24 percent pay raise over five years. The Senate is expected to vote on the bill as soon as today, but some Republicans are against Congress weighing in. I certainly am not going to support forcing a deal on them that they have explicitly voted no on. Paid sick leave remains a sticking point for lawmakers and the rail workers who rejected the proposal. So the, the unions where the members uh, voted the deals down felt that this needed to be a part of any ultimate agreement. If an agreement isn't reached by December 9th, the consequences would have far-reaching effects. We estimate that within a couple of weeks you would have over 700,000 workers laid off and that would probably break the 1 million mark pretty soon after that. The transportation of everything from food and gas to clothes and chlorine for safe drinking water are also on the line. This is just the time where we have to protect the the overall economy, overall workers, overall families. Companies are making adjustments to make sure products are on the shelves ahead of the Christmas holiday. President Biden is urging Congress to deliver on a deal to prevent a rail strike fast. And Congress is considering a separate bill to add seven days of paid sick leave to rail workers. As it stands, rail workers do not have guaranteed paid six days. Maureen. And Bree, President Biden meets with French President Macron today as Congress figures out a budget deal with a major sticking point of interest to Macron. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the, right now there's talks about uh, additional funding for Ukraine to help them fight off Russian forces as part of uh, the budget deal. Now, Macron is a strong, st staunch supporter of Ukraine and has also met with uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin and spoken with him on the phone, urging him to end the war. Uh, so assistance to Ukraine is expected to be front and center uh, during talks with President Biden. All right, we'll have to see what they say and, and hope that something gets worked out with those rail workers sometime soon. Bree Jackson, Life Force in D.C., thank you so much.